welcome back to the Citizen Channel, our regular feature. A little bit of a gap between this one. I've been having to get hold of the thing, uh, which wasn't easy because I couldn't get to the game. We're a, our away day match programme watch, of course. And we're talking this one today. We're talking Fulham. So we're talking, yes, yeah, so I couldn't get to this one. Or no no chance with the ticket points for this for Fulham games. Sadly, as the season draws to an end, um, yes, it's proving a little bit hard to get now towards the end of the season uh, with the limited allocations. And, of course, um, we're going for a title, so obviously everyone's grabbing to go, aren't they? So we'll have a look at this Fulham programme today and see if it'll uh, threaten the Wolves programme, which currently heads the league on 8 out of 10. And we've got a plethora, plethora of clubs on 7.5 out of 10. Spurs, West Ham, Leicester and Newcastle all on 7.5 out of 10. So let's see how Fulham does. Yeah, uh, interesting. Interesting one this week. Uh, yeah, very interesting. Probably... Uh, Read this. I don't. I won't say I read it more than other away programs, but there's uh, little certain little nuggets in it and stuff that you might, have, if you just glance through, it, you might have missed. So we'll, we'll talk about that anyway. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Great job you're on board, of course. Everything City past, present, and forever. Although she's past now, isn't it? Even though it's only a couple of weeks old. So join me for this, and if you are pushing buttons, you can press that little like button. Uh, trying to get about 15 to 20 likes for these program watches. Not the most watched ones, obviously, but uh, if you can support me, I'll be very, very grateful. Yeah, so interesting enough, it's £3.50, which is good for a, a London-based programme, certainly is. 100 pages, all right, it's compact. It's not a massive programme, but it's nice and compact. Very simple layout, no no bells and whistles with this one. It's all nicely, uh, sort of basic basic columns. Nothing nothing special or fancy with the odd little quirk thing get thrown in. Nineteen approximately nineteen pages of ads and promotions, etc. Which of course in a hundred page magazine uh, works out at nineteen percent, which is towards the lower end. So we've got the usual with the Fulham, the, the managers, of course, Silver and the captain and the players, etc. Modern match reports, uh, images, women's football, the under-18s, under-23s, all that sort of stuff. But uh, anything else uh, of, of interest? Well, Cedric Suarez, who, of course, joined on loan from Arsenal at the start of the year. Uh, yeah, plenty of information on him, if you're interested in Cedric Suarez. Uh, a good eight pages worth of stuff and information on that character. There's some Fulham history on a 60s player called John Dempsey uh, with some uh, black and white photographs, which I like as well. Again, plenty of pages on it, seven pages in total. He was actually an ever-present in the start in the 11 at Fulham from the 4th of September 1965 till the 20th of April 1968. So that's not bad going. And he played for Fulham alongside such uh, legends as Johnny Haynes. Yes, I know, guys of a certain age are all right. If you're a bit younger, you won't know that. But uh, Johnny Haynes, George Cohen, another big name. And, of course, uh, most people know us, a gentleman called Bobby Robson. So he played alongside those guys. Premier League years looks at uh, a Fulham historian looks back at seasons, obviously, Fulham in the Premier League. And a lot of clubs are doing Premier League stuff this this year, with it being a 30-year anniversary. And he looks at season 18-19, 2018-19. Six pages on that one. This is a season, sadly, they got relegated. They only got 26 points from 38 games. And only Huddersfield Town uh, finished below them. They just literally got 16 points from 38 games. And yeah, Ranieri was sacked all, all after only 16 games in charge. So, bit of a, did they stab him in the back like Leicester? Probably. Classic kit. Yeah, that's a look at a Fulham home kit from the same season, the 2018-19 season, which was supplied by Adidas. Harry Wilson does a Q&A on his football first from his supporting and watching football to playing for the club he supported as a kid. So he supported Liverpool, ended up playing for Liverpool before he turned up at Fulham. For the kids, we've got Billy Badger's quiz zone. So there you go, all good old Billy Badger. I wonder why they have a Badger. Nothing to do with being black and white, is it? No, probably not. 
celebrity fan, uh, someone I don't know. Uh, his stage name, he's a singer-songwriter, is St Lundy, which is a holiday resort, of course. His real name is Archie Langley, so I think I'll probably stick with St Lundy, it's far better. And apparently uh, a Portsmouth fan originally, but being based in London for his music, etc., he began going to the cottage to watch Fulham, and his affection just grew. So uh, I think, I think uh, you know, turncoat, uh, no time for these people. World Cup Whites features Fulham players who have played in the World Cup over the years. A city link with this one because he covered Dixon Etuhu. Yeah, we'll mention him in a moment again. He won 33 caps for Nigeria between 20,000, 20, 20,000, 2007 and 2011. Are you Fulham in disguise? Checks out clubs around the world who wear white shirts and black shorts. Yes, so, yes, that's an interesting link, but it's true, I suppose. Today we've got Spezio. Today in the programme we've got Spezia. Calcio from Northwest Italy, from a lower division club, they reached the top division, Serie A, back in 2020. Sadly, they do currently sit third bottom, so they're not doing very well. I've just checked uh, the latest table, uh, with four games left in Serie A, and they've just finished, January 23, they just finished a 12-month uh, transfer ban. Uh, they they would breach nation, national immigration laws by signing 13 underage players from Nigeria. <laughs> so there you go. I'm, I'm sure, uh, you know, whether they uh, sounds as though it's something they're never going to get away with, but uh, hey, who knows. Eight pages in the dedicated city section. Yeah, let's get on to City of Fulham, City of City on themselves. This is called The Away End. It's very good, actually, including a piece on City's Premier League history. And, of course, uh, it's just good. It's very good. Pen, pen profiles, danger men, tactics, a uh, bit about City. Uh, very, very good uh, country, Very good stuff from Fulham. As far as City and Fulham, you've got an article by Fulham and City player Gordon Davis. Remember him, Gordon Davis? Some of you will. No talk of playing for both. Just just about what his, his thoughts are, of, are on the current City team basically, and how, how we're doing. Performance Lab looks at some basic stats between Fulham and key City players. It's, it's it, very interesting. I mean, actually, most minutes, if you look at Tim Ream, who plays for Fulham, he's managed 2,878 minutes. And you'd think Edison, who obviously doesn't play the cup games, but Edison's our highest, and is actually 2,700. And they did have a slight error, a bit of an editorial error. They didn't, they didn't pick this up anywhere. Uh, and they were talking about uh, the the uh, nineteen twenty season, I think, is the nineteen yeah, nineteen twenty season, of course. Uh, and they said we we missed out on the title despite amassing a hundred and two points. I thought, <laughs> I thought, well, I don't remember that. I remember a hundred point season, but I don't remember hundred and two points. But of course, it was a season when Liverpool romped it uh, with ninety nine points. We only got eighty one points. And what what they meant to say, uh, we we lost out on the title despite scoring 102 goals that was what we got not 102 points so yeah that got missed somewhere but yeah, you can't really blame them for stuff like that when someone's rereading it back of course Ken Colton live through the lens has some images from City versus Fulham back in 1966 at the cottage you've even got Tony Buck and Harry Dowd in the image there and this was City's first season back in the top division under Mercer and Allison of course uh, and they did go on to win the Division 1 title the season after Matt Copy looks at a programme from the past this time and a past City Fulham game and this is the City Fulham City game on the 14th of August 98 at the Cottage and it was Kevin Keegan's Fulham that season remember and they started at the Cottage their first win was a 3-0 win over us with two goals from a Dirk Lehman, remember him, and one from Peter Beardsley, who came to us for a bit as well. They won the title that season, full of 101 points. Of course, we did accompany them up the table, didn't we, up, up into the next division by winning a certain playoff final over Gillingham back in 98-99, of course. I don't, don't think I need you to tell you that. Breaking New Ground is a, is a piece on the Etihad, its history, uh, including, obviously, what it's been used for, international games, etc. Uh, and comments on Fulham's first First, uh, visits where in the first four visits uh, to to the Etihad they won three of them so they did very very well and we were a bit of an April fool because all those three wins were in the month of April 29th of April 2006 uh, they beat us 2-1 
with Mal Bronk, an injury time winner. Do you remember that? 26th of April, 2008. The last minute of the game, a Kamara rocket beat us at 3-2. And on the 12th of April, 2009, Dixon the two who I said he'd get a mention in. So Dixon the two weighed in with a goal in a 3-1 victory. That was the last time they beat us. They have, they have drawn, but that's the last time they managed to uh, beat us at the Etihad, the 12th of April, 2009. So there you go. Uh, a nice programme. As I say, I've probably spent a little bit more time just scouting through and reading bits and pieces and um, it's obviously very good uh, looking at Fulham and City stuff from history, a nice section on City as well and nicely priced yeah 100 pages to £3.50 I don't think you can go far wrong but we'll talk about the postage in a minute of what this, what this might cost me but yeah a very worthy effort some nice stuff in the City section as long as, as, as well as Fulham the City things and a couple of things even a couple of things that are Fulham Links uh, I quite like, like the black and white, the Italian team uh, looking at that and stuff like this. So I'm going to guess, I mean, it's not going to oust uh, Wolves at the top of the table. But I'm going to give this 7.5 out of 10 because I was quite impressed with it. It's certainly worthy for me uh, of going into runners up spot, going into second in the table. So yeah, I'll leave Wolves top, but uh, no, I'm very impressed with this uh, Fulham program. As I say, uh, plenty of pages, plenty of uh, content. A great read, so please. Uh, yes, uh, this was the thing. It was three pound fifty, of course, but I did, I did actually try and buy it from the Fulham shop. I might have got it a bit quicker, but they wanted six pound ninety five post and packing. Are they taking the mix? Six pound ninety five. That was an absolute disgrace. I mean, that was just standard. That was just standard. It wasn't anything special. So I thought, sod that. Um, I actually went on to eBay, and I think I got one. For seven pound ninety five in total, so obviously about three four about save yourself about three pound fifty on postage. So I did check uh, before I came on here, and you can still get this for about six pound seventy upwards. And I say it's worth, it's worth it if you like you're collecting your programs. It's certainly worthwhile getting one, so you can get it from yes, it is from eBay. I've seen them at six seventy, and I've seen some at seven ninety stuff like that. So a bit cheaper than going to the Fulham Club shop, which still is asking three pound fifty plus six pound ninety five postage. They should be ashamed of themselves. In fairness, I mean obviously I, I don't mind that if it's something bulky, but they should have different prices when it's something like a match day program. And I've not known any other club do that when they sell it through the shop charge that sort of money but anyway i'll let them off i wasn't marking the fact that they were trying to rip me off i'm marking the program so there you go moves into second spot and next up again i'll have to wait for this one because i won't be uh certainly didn't have enough points for this one we'll be looking at everton away so that'll be the next uh, away program watch we do thanks for watching guys as you say let let me know if you bought if you got this you went along and you got the full and you, you were impressed as impressed as me let me know and uh, if you haven't got it and you want to buy it uh, have a read and then come back on to me and say anything that uh, that you spotted thanks for watching guys until we meet again that's one thing don't I? please stay safe blues come on city bye for now